So to tell them about the debate, is it 99 Ranch or Ranch 99? 99 Ranch. <laughs> There's a video on it. She is very adamant about the fact that people say it wrong. Mm -hmm. So I already started eating. But I just basically got shrimp hog owls, um, pork shumai. And I don't know what's in this dumpling. And then Jean is almost finished with this food. <laughs> <laughs> we got chow mein, orange chicken, and in this area was beef broccoli. Beef broccoli yeah. <laughs> so the dumpling, I think, is chicken. I don't know if you can see it. So we really love shopping at Ranch 99, and I think this year they're opening. Shut up. <laughs> this year they are actually opening up one near my house, mm -hmm. which is way closer because we have. Like two blocks away. Yeah, this one we have to drive out a little bit to get to, so we're pretty excited. Could possibly do a recording on opening day, which would be pretty sick, right? So uh, yeah, how's that food going? I'm already done. Like I finished a while mm -hmm. back. Hey, what are we doing right now? Buying groceries. Groceries. This is not a grocery, but it's cute. <laughs> it says awkward is my specialty. <laughs> so we're, in. we're trying to uh, buy some new supplies because we're trying to cook and we need some stuff. And we're not trying to pay a fortune for it. <laughs> we're at Target right now. But it's okay. It's worth it. <laughs> a nice simple peeler. Made and designed by Target. You know it's shit. <laughs> Soft grip peeler. Target brand. Kind of small. I don't know if my potato could fit in there. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Why is it ankle? <laughs> But it feels legit. Well, looks like it's free. I broke it, guys. I broke it. <laughs> we'll just, you know, put it back in there. Maybe that's why it was ankle. <laughs> we need a potato scrubber, guys. Tell me if you guys find it. If I pass by it. Potato scrubber. Isn't that it right there? That's a vegetable brush. <gasps> It'll work. Same thing. Yay! Alright, that's it. That's all we needed, right? Yes, garlic, peeler. We're being super lazy and just buying the garlic already minced. I just dropped the shredder. Because <laughs> someone didn't want to get a cart or a fast. <laughs> We're only buying like three things. Four things. Alright, are we done? Yes. All right, let's go pay for it. We're still shopping because uh, Calm lavender. we bought these fresheners for the bathroom and our bedroom and they smell pretty good. So now so we're going to buy one for the game room so people don't judge us and think that our rooms stink. <laughs> My nose is stuffy so I can't smell anything, but I'm trying. <laughs> Want to give it a sniff? <laughs> <laughs> Are we getting lavender? Yeah, we already have morning mist, the linen. Oh, uh, you forgot to talk about what you're rocking today. What you're rocking right there. Da -na -na -na. Legend this of Zelda. This is mine. <laughs> she just freaking put it, uh, <laughs> she put it on today. I didn't bring anything to his house, so I didn't have any sweatshirts. And I didn't know it was going to rain. Alright, so we doing lavender? We doing lavender. Alright, let's go. We are done. Oh god. Does anybody else get anxiety when you have to yield in a big intersection and you're going straight across? Let me know in the comments below. Hey guys, we're going to start cooking the curry in our instant pot and we're going to start by chopping up the onion. First we're going to chop it in half and then after we're just going to chop it into strips all the way through for both halves. Now we're going to start peeling all of the carrots and you just want to get rid of all the carrot skins and as you can see we're just trying to aim it in the trash can but 
That's a feel. After the carrots, or after peeling the carrots, you're going to want to peel all of the potatoes. As you can see, we just disregarded the trash bag in there and just started peeling above the sink. Now you're going to want to prep the red bell peppers. As you can see, I'm just getting rid of all the seeds in the middle, including the core. Then you're going to want to just slice the red bell pepper. I believe it's called julienne cut the red bell peppers. I could be wrong. I'm not a chef. So you're just going to want to do that for the entire pepper, basically cutting them in strips. Now you're going to also slice the carrot. And I was following a video. That's why you see me chopping it at it odd angles. And then I tried cutting it straight, but it looked weird. So I continued to cut it at angles again because I was following a video. After the carrots, you're going to want to go ahead and chop the potatoes. The way I chopped the potatoes were I sliced them first. And then I ended up cubing them or cutting them in fourths. To make them more bite sized. After the potatoes, we prepped our meat and the meat packaging that we bought, all of the meat pieces were in huge chunks. So we wanted them more bite sized pieces so it's easier to eat. So we ended up slicing them all the way through in about like, what, like half an inch slices. But I realized the slices were still a little bit long. So I ended up cutting them in half horizontally wise to make it in cubes like you see here. After chopping up all the meat, we just went ahead and seasoned it. We just used just regular salt and pepper and we didn't really follow any measurement guidelines for this. We kind of just eyeballed it and guesstimated the amount that we're going to need to make it flavorful. So we just seasoned it and then after seasoning it, we just mix it all together so every meat has a little bit of salt and pepper. So these are all our prepped veggies and meat. Our meat choice was pork by the way, I don't think I mentioned it. Some carrots, red bell peppers. These are the onions we sliced and we just put them in some cold water to soak. As well as the potatoes just cubed and soaked as well. Once all of your ingredients are prepped, you're going to want to turn on your Instant Pot to saute and normal heat. And once it's on, you're going to want to add about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of oil. Here we just use regular vegetable oil, I believe. Then after the oil has a chance to warm up, you're going to want to go ahead and add in the onions to saute and soften up a little bit. And as you're adding your onions, it's going to get a little bit filled. However, it does downsize in it. So these onion pieces are not going to be your final product when it's all finished. Once all of the onions are inside the Instant Pot, you're going to want to stir it up a little bit. And then add in your garlic. For this garlic, we used uh, minced, pre chopped minced garlic from Target. And it says it's half a teaspoon per clove. So for this recipe, we needed a whole teaspoon. So, or equivalent to two cloves. So we just went ahead and added a whole teaspoon to it. Now it's time to add in the meat. You want to add in the meat after the onion and garlic. So the meat has a chance to soak up all of its flavors. So just go ahead and add in all of your meats just into the instant pot and then stir it all of it together. After letting the meat cook for about a minute you're going to want to go ahead and add the carrots, the red bell peppers, and the potatoes. Now that all of the ingredients have been added inside the instant pot go ahead and mix it all together now we just added our water to the instant pot and we just followed the ingredients that it said on the box packaging of the instant curry the instant curry we chose was from golden curry 
with uh, the spice level hot and we chose the smaller boxes so each box had about five bricks in them or five pieces in them so we just went ahead and dumped both boxes inside of the ingredients inside the pot and we just fully stirred it in so all of the bricks are mostly submerged inside the mixture. Once the bricks of instant curry have been all mixed together, go ahead and close the instant pot. Once I figure out how the puzzle works, you're going to hear it click in and just snap it and twist it shut to make sure it's closed. And you're going to want the air vent to be on sealing and not on venting. So, Because if it's on venting, the steam is just going to end up escaping. For the instant curry, you're going to want to cook it on meat and then set it to 15 minutes and wait for it to beep once it's ready. After the 15 minutes of cooking time, we set the instant pot on keep warm and have it naturally release for about 30 minutes until all of the pressure is out. Now it's time to finally open the pot. When you open the pot and stir it around a bit, you will realize that there's still some instant curry bricks that haven't been diluted in or melted thoroughly through the mixture. But that's okay, just spend about a minute or two until the bricks have fully been dissolved and allow the curry to thicken. So we just finished eating the instant curry using our instant pot and this recipe was a success! Yay! So that is another instant pot recipe that was super good and when we cooked it all the ingredients actually shrunk down which is good because like you saw earlier I didn't know how to chop things to its proper like size so I was guesstimating but when it all finished out it was it actually shrunk to the perfect size and bite size too and everything was super tender super flavorful and it was a success what did you think of the curry it was good um, I think we could have used a little bit more of the bricks though because that the would flavor been, the instant curry the instant curry I felt like we needed more bricks so I, I would buy the bigger pack next time, not the not the two small small ones, and just combine them. But if I had a little bit more, I think it would have been a little bit more thicker. But I think it was pretty good thickness wise. So I like it thick. <laughs> would you say it was like su success? Success. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, yeah, I definitely would say it was success. I definitely went back for seconds, so it's always good. Yay. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.